All right, what's going on guys? Another video here and I have a new sponsor for you. Um, before we get into the video, I wanted to show it to you guys. I just set it up on the wall over here, got it installed and everything. So let me show it to you guys real quick, talk about it, and then we'll get into the video. It's gonna be this wall-mounted pressure washer by Draft Tools and it is really nice, clean looking, sleek, black. This is 100 feet, 100 feet. It's 2200 PSI, very powerful for being wall mounted and being this compact. And this is auto retractable, so as soon as you pull this out to where you need to be, um, as soon as you uh, lock it in place, it won't come out. And as soon as you barely give it a tug, it will auto retract. And it's very powerful, so be careful on that. But I'm gonna show you how this thing works really quick. So what I did was the hose that comes attached to this, uh, you get this hose, but you do not get this quick disconnect. So I put a quick disconnect on mine just because it makes it so much easier to just hook it up to my regular hose. I would highly suggest maybe someone picking one of these up. And uh, just to show you guys also, it does come with a foam cannon, so they know you're probably gonna be washing your cars with this. It's compact, it's not the biggest foam cannon, but it is nice that it does come with one to help you uh, clean your vehicles and stuff. And then on this side, it has a little uh, compartment that you can put this uh, wand in. And also, all the attachments are on the actual gun itself. And just like that, it locks into place. It's not going back and forth. And I pulled way more than enough than I need if I wanted to wash my car. This is long enough to go all the way to that tree down way over there. And I still have tons and tons of uh, uh, hose to go. One thing you wanna do is make sure your connections are tight. <laughs> I got a bunch of water everywhere. Obviously it cleaned that pretty good and that was with the 25 degree nozzle on there. Obviously you can see how bad it is in the front. To me, a pressure washer is good to have regardless. Doesn't matter what type it is. This one does make it very convenient that it's just right on the wall, out of the way, out of sight, and it auto retracts. But uh, let's keep going and I wanna show you uh, cleaning this piece of wood right here. You can tell I already started. I started with these two pieces and uh, I was gonna hit one of these, but I wanted to use the, the strongest one they have, which is the red tip. And I really wanna show you guys how powerful this thing is. Woo, okay. That thing is cutting through that wood. That thing's so powerful. So this is kind of how the gun looks. It's your typical gun. Um, if you use it for long periods of time, maybe for a couple hours, your hand, it will probably start hurting. But if you just use it here and there, um, taking little breaks here and there, you're not gonna have an issue with this. I have a few guns for pressure washers that are actually a lot harder to use than this one, but this one to me is perfectly fine. I do like that all these are attached on the actual gun itself. So when you are done with it, bam, just pop this one off. Obviously they're easy, quick disconnect, like anything else, pop the new one on, you're ready to go on your next project. Now keep in mind that it is electric, so it is gonna be quieter than your gas powered pressure washer, but it is not silent. So you're not gonna be able to do this at midnight when everyone's sleeping. It is pretty loud, which I will demonstrate how loud this is. I will get right next to it with my microphone and I'll pull the trigger on this gun and you'll see exactly like how loud it is. <laughs> So like I said, it's not the quietest electric pressure washer, but the convenience of it, like I said, and just, you know, it makes it easy to do the job by just having it out of sight, out of mind. So me personally, on, an, on a side note, is I have a couple pressure washers. So I have a Sun Joe, a little handheld one. Um, this one's nice. It, it does take up some room though. It's always just been sitting here and it's my backup one. This is my main one that I always use. It's 3200 PSI. It's a great pressure washer. But the thing is, even though this is a lot more stronger than the one on the wall right now, this one's about $550, $600, and this one's about $300. So if you guys are looking to pick one of those up, I actually think they sold out of them, so hopefully they restocked when this video comes up. But if you wanna get one, the link is gonna be in the description. Now, I highly feel like these electric pressure washers being wall mounted and everything, I feel like they're a huge time saver. So if you know, you're strapped with time and all that stuff, you gotta think about it. It's already on the wall. It's already ready to go. It's already plugged into the wall. Everything's already connected. The hose reels every, are like already there. All you have to do is pull it out to use it really quick and you're good to go. The main thing you have to do is just get your actual water pressure line connected to it and you're ready to go. This gear works hard so you don't have to. And I really think that what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna keep the wall mounted one and I'm gonna end up getting rid of 
my son Joe. So I'm actually going to see if one of my neighbors wants it or something like that because that this thing has been great to me. But the inconvenience of having to move this one, always connect all the cords and all that stuff, and then I had to plug it in the wall every time. This thing, for convenience, is already ready to go. Uh, there's a no-brainer to me. So I want to get back to cleaning that fence, so let's go. Let's get at it. Oh, and there you go, guys. You can see the difference. These have never been replaced since we've been here, and you can definitely tell. That's crazy. All right, guys, so if you want to check those pressure washers out, you want to purchase one, then click the link in the description and it will link you directly over there. And let's get into the video now, guys. All right, now that we're done with that, welcome to the actual video. Thanks for sticking around if you did. And I am, I don't even know where I'm at. There's a lot of construction going on. A lot of mud I'm not really, really trying to go through because everyone knows how these Super 73 fenders are. But uh, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys to give you an update on the Super 73 and uh, what's going on with the 72 volt system. Holy crap, look at this mess over here with all these bottles and what the f What the heck, man? Insane, dude, we better not get a flat. I don't even know why we're going off road in this video, but it was gonna be pretty quick. Uh, I just wanna talk to you guys. And explain that uh, the company for the Super 73, 72 volt kit, um, they hit me up. They are called Moto Electric Racing. They reached out to me over email and said, hey, here's an update on your order. And I guess as of right now, they are making the enclosure for me. So that's cool. Um, they're getting that all done. I told them I wanted a gloss black look, but honestly, I don't know if they do a gloss black look or if it's just like a regular like flat black because someone got a flat black one and I didn't like it. I didn't like the flat black one. So uh, we'll see what they make it like. Um, they show an orange one on the website. I don't know if they select, let you select like any color, but anyways, the enclosure is getting made right now, which is great. Um, they also mentioned about the motor. So the motor, on their website shows it laced to a four inch wheel uh, already spoked and everything like that so hopefully that's how it comes because that's how they show it um if that's true they say that the motor is getting sent directly to me from the manufacturer now they didn't give me any update if that meant it was actually coming from like a company like in china or overseas or if it's like here in the united states and they're sending it to me and i'm gonna get it sometime next week i don't know they just said next week it's gonna be sent to me and then uh with the battery the 72 volt battery i don't know who makes it i don't know the specs on the battery i feel like that's one thing Woo! bump right there that's one thing they should have uh mentioned on their website i feel like it's gonna be a cheap battery to be honest I don't think it's going to be, you know, crazy uh, 21700 cell like the Tesla cells um, with a really high like discharge and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, 18650 cells, which I mean, it is what it is. We'll see, though. I, I really don't even know the specs of it. And um, I want to send them an email and ask them. So maybe I'll have an update in a future video to uh, let you guys know because I don't even think anyone knows if someone's even taking it apart or if it says like the information on the outside of the battery because they have a 20 amp hour, which is not the one I got. That's the triangle one. I actually went to their website and noticed the triangle one is the 20 amp hour. Cause if you zoom in on the picture on the website, that's what that size is. The 30 amp hour one is an actual brick. It's like a, my Suron battery. It's just a, it's literally a square, just a long square. So. We're gonna see how that fits because the pictures on their website don't show it with the big battery. They only show it with the 20 amp hour battery. So really, really curious to know, but that's gonna be cool. They said the battery's coming shortly after the motor does, but I just don't know who's making the battery. So I wish I knew that information for you, but I do not. And I am just somewhere random by myself. <laughs> that's gonna, Let's get a good look at the Super 73 while we're out here. Like, why not? You know, like, I'm just by myself. I can start making bike reviews way out here. I'll be honest, it's pro this probably wasn't the best thing to do, is to come out in the dirt when I'm planning on taking this whole entire bike apart. But, uh, 
this is pretty much how my super 73 looks nice out here super super nice ass day um obviously this is all gonna go this whole back system's gonna go this cup holder is gonna go even though it holds my bluetooth speaker this they don't mention anything on the website but honestly this looks pretty simple um i don't know if i'm gonna have to like un unattach the easy these just pull off obviously this main bolt is going to come off and i think what i'm going to do is just route it back here and i'm just going to put it right behind the the bike but yeah the horn is definitely not going to be able to stay there or maybe direct it to the the ground like underneath the bike or something but i think i'm going to put an alarm system down here but it really just depends on how everything gets set up on this bike maybe i can stand around this side maybe you'll be able to see the bike a lot better other than my shadow because uh, the sun's shining on it this way but I love how this bike looks. I don't think we're gonna keep the tires. Once uh, we got the motor and everything, I'm gonna use these tires to start off with, but I do feel like once I have the extra power on it, I'm gonna put some actual like scooter tires on, like some heavy duty tires that are gonna weigh a lot more, but they're also gonna be puncture resistant. So flats, we should never get a flat anymore. Just like my Suron, we don't get flats in that thing anymore. And that's because I'm using some really dope ass, uh... oh, I got scratched using some dope ass tires on my Suron. Have never got a flat after I took the dirt tires off the Suron. So I'm hoping it'd be the same thing like this. But for the time being, we'll use these tires. These tires are just slippery. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the update, guys. If you wanna follow me for a little bit on this trail, I really appreciate that you guys stuck around on the video because uh, I was only gonna make that video about the pressure washer like two or three minutes and i just started going ham there's really so much you could talk about stuff i could have made a whole 20 minute video about that pressure washer but i know you guys aren't going to sit there and watch it because we ain't a pressure washing channel you know i was going to mention too like if you do guys if you guys pick up any type of pressure washer even if it's not the one that i mentioned in this video um wait, is this blocked off i hope it's not blocked off um, I was going to say, uh, just be careful if you wash electronics. Like, if you're going to wash uh, any of your bikes, I would highly suggest pointing it away from any of the actual, like, electronics of the bike. Just use it on the bad parts of it. Whoa, this is way different. Okay, this was not how it was the other day. Oh, oh, let's go up here. Oh! <laughs> well, that's fun. Let's not fall in that water, though. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! This torque update is helping get through here. Heck yeah. All right, cool. We back on the road. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to get my happy ass back home now that I have a slightly dirty bike and uh, just call it a day. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I'm going to keep giving you updates about the Super... We're going to call it the Super 72 from now on. That's what it's going to be called, is the Super 72. So I'll keep giving you updates on it when I find out the information. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.